from the 38109 zip code, the area right around here, to work on this exhibit. And the basis for selecting them was they wrote an essay about the cultural heritage of the African American community in their neighborhood was important. And that was the basis uh, for the selection of the nine students who, who you're going to meet in just a little bit. Okay? That's what I've got to say. And now I'm going to turn it over to the students. The project came about when nine area high school students were given the opportunity to express the past on Southwest Memphis. We did not always agree. It was not always easy, but we got the work done. Most of us were introduced while others were presented to Southwest Memphis. We learned and did so much this summer, and we all had an awesome time doing it. We prepared a, document, a documentary, but before we show you, I would like for my summer of 2010 co-workers who play a very tremendous part in creating this exhibit to come and introduce themselves. Good afternoon, my name is Devarius Burton. I go to Mars High School. Hello, my name is Jasmine Morrison and I attend West High. Good afternoon, my name is Brian Bradley and I attend Memphis Catholic High. Good afternoon, my name is Denzel Flanor and I attend Whitehaven High School. Good afternoon, my name is Roy, and I attend Good afternoon, my name is Angel Conway, and I attend Whitehaven High School. Good afternoon, I'm Ashley Banks, and I attend St. Benedict in Auburndale. Good afternoon, my name is Erica Beasley, and I'm a freshman student at Lane College. Good afternoon, my name is Tabitha Barlow, and I attend Westwood High School. And now we would like to show you our documentary on Southwest Memphis. Now we would like to share our experience on this project. My favorite quote I learned this summer was from Ernest Withers. He stated, be who you is, not who you ain't. Because if you is who you ain't, then you ain't who you is. <laughs> it was all on us. There were no boundaries to what we could do, with some exceptions. The, the most important thing that I've learned, I've learned how to get the youth together and help the project grow and to also help their own communities grow. Because when the youth steps in, more things can be accomplished because it's from our point, our point of view. This experience showed me why history is important. Southwest Memphis is my home and is my heart. Everyone in every place has its story. If it's never told, then it is worth nothing. What I hope is that many of today's youth will get more involved in the program such as the Chuck Lisa Student Exhibit. Pride is the most important characteristic that I've learned from this exhibit. This program has prepared me for the future with the skills that they have taught me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my name is Jariah Allen. What I learned from this project is that, Af is that African Americans achieve great things throughout history. I believe that the exhibit that we put together is not only a teaching tool for Southwest Memphis, it's a way to get our culture put out there because all of the information we found, not a lot of people knew. This entire experience at Chuck Lisa has opened up many doors for me. I've made everlasting bonds with some of my colleagues and I have met many powerful and important people in Southwest Memphis. And more importantly, I have made an impact on my city. Exhibit is a show of all of our talents and abilities and all combined in one project. I would like to thank all of the many people who helped us with this project, but I would mainly like to thank Mr. Matthew Gibbs, Emily Swimmer, and Rob, Dr. Robert Cohen, some of the best bosses that we ever had. My experience with this project, it was, 
it was it was amazing. I can say that the people I have met, they they're pretty good. <laughs> I will also be a graduate assistant. I'm here at Chuck Elisa for the next two years. During that time, one of my primary tasks will be to continue working with the students who created the exhibit that we are premiering here today. The video that you saw today was about 20 minutes long. We have another 20 hours of interviews the students collected this summer. When you go into the exhibit area, you will notice a television mounted on the wall along with an iPad. As we edit the 20 hours of video, we will make them available for viewing in the exhibit area. We will also be showing these videos here in the museum theater. For example, a true highlight of this summer's project was to be able to interview Mrs. Bobby Jones, who you heard on the piano and in her own words today, a teacher of music in our schools to generations of students, including Isaac Hayes. We know that there are many more stories out there to record. Our goal is to, uh, to be a true resource for the community and with the community of, our, of which our museum is a part, not as a place of academic privilege, but as a place of a true relationship within our collaboration and museum. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Samantha Gibbs, and I was the project coordinator over this project. Before we allow you guys to go in and actually see the exhibit before its opening, the staff at the CH National Museum at Chuck Lisa wanted to officially thank the students and show them our appreciation for all that they've done.